Decentralization is a word that you hear all the time in the crypto industry. And what does it mean? It means so many things. We're thinking about how easy it is to build on the chain, how many validator nodes are on the chain, or how secure the network is and how widespread it can possibly be. On this video, we're gonna dive in deep into why Algorand is in position to become the most decentralized blockchain in the whole crypto industry. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, my name is C. Will, and this is the Passive Income Network. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe and hit that bell notification so that way you stay up to date with my latest videos. Let's get started. Algorand is now the number two blockchain with the most validator nodes on mainnet. What a day for Algo. This is just the beginning. So on this chart right here is a number of validator nodes across top layer one chains. So obviously, Ethereum, the OG, is number one with over 6,400 nodes. And this data is as of January 23rd, 2025. And Algorand is now in the number two position passing up multiverse x so algorand is now number two and with a nice double in validator nodes we will see that algorand will definitely pass up ethereum and this is very important for security for sure because you want your nodes spread out all throughout the country and if you were paying attention a few years ago when china shut down a lot of the miners in china people were afraid that bitcoin would slow down even eventually shut down. However, the rest of the world picked up the slack and that was not the case. And that's the type of example that you have to pay attention when it comes to decentralization. If you go towards the bottom of this chart, you see Tron, Hedera, and Stellar have less than 100. That means these are very centralized and institutionalized blockchains where they are controlled um, and their access is only to a select number of people. A chain like Ethereum, Algorand, Multiverse X, and Cardano allows for anyone to participate in consensus and help secure the network and also get rewarded. So we have another um, chart here. Layer 1 blockchains, scalability versus decentralization. So you got that greenish color is max transactions per second recorded versus the validator nodes. And if you look at ICP, it has recorded over 25,000 transactions for one of its max situations. However, it has 138 validator nodes. Then you go to Algorand has completed over 15,000 transactions per second. And at the time of this list, it has about 2,000 validator nodes. And this source is as of February 6th. Aptos, 15,000 transactions, 145. And the next big competition, I would say, for Algorand is eGold or Multiverse X with over 13,000 transactions and 3,600 validator nodes. So let's break down how easy it is to run a node on Algorand. So to run a node on Algorand, all you need is 16 gigabyte RAM, fast SSD and one gigabytes of the internet. That's it. Buy a mini PC, set it up, visit node kit dot run, and you're good to go. On the other networks, you need expensive hardware, in some cases, permission just to participate. That's true, which is more decentralized. Don't just take our word for it. Ask the folks running the 4,300 plus nodes on Algorand. And there is a difference between a node and a validator node. So here is node kit for Algorand's um, node running, you can do it on Linux or Mac. So make sure y'all check this out. All the documentation is over there. Then when uh, it comes to validator accounts, the CE CMO says we passed 2,000 validator accounts. Node count is up to 4.4, more decentralized every day. So you can run a node, but to become a validator, you need to have at least 30,000 algos from my understanding. Then we have a juicy update from Minwei. 
She says, and for me, the most important part is the steady removal of Algorand Foundation stake as the overall online stake of the network continues to grow. So what does this mean? The Algorand Foundation is also running nodes. However, they're reducing their stake. They also don't earn rewards and they're slowly getting out of the way. So that way, the decentralization is about the people and not them as an organization handling most of the nodes. And that's another 90 million algo of Algorand Foundation stake removed, 25% of the way to complete removal. If you have not checked out Algorand staking, now is the time. Rewards have never been juicier. So there it goes. It says uh, further decrease of Algorand Foundation stake online plan for tomorrow. They did it. So they keep reducing their stake so that way the people can take control of the decentralization. And then I'm going to tell you about my experience so far. And let me read you this post and I'll tell you what platform it is. Obviously, Valar Staking. Congratulations to Valar Staking on an amazing year, progressing from the 2024 Algorand Global Hackathon through our incubator program to mainnet launch and adoption. Just two weeks after Algorand's 4.0 upgrade, Valar saw 18 million algo staked on this platform across 120 accounts, representing 6% of all accounts participating in consensus. So Valar has been incubated and Valar is having a successful journey already. So this is the Valar platform, peer-to-peer staking platform. Valar is a decentralized platform for simple peer-to-peer staking on the Algorand blockchain. And then right now by staking, you can earn about 6.78%. And then the total stake on The network is 1.5 billion algos. That's the total network stake, not from Valar, but the total network. And this is the platform I'm using to run my node. So I personally was having some trouble on my laptop using NodeKit. So I was like, okay, let me go find a different solution. And the solution I wanted was one that wasn't liquid staking where you have to change your algo to an M algo, an X algo, or a T algo. I wanted to make sure that my algo stay right in my wallet and I earn rewards. So I went with Valar. I did my research, wrote a few people online to make sure everything was nice and legit. And it sure was. So it's a secure platform. You get 100% of the rewards. It's decentralized. There's no locking, service protection, and it's transparent. So what you have to do is uh, you create a contract. And to create a contract, you have a 30, 60, 90 day with either a USDC or algo payment. Then you find a node runner, and I used uh, one of these node runners here from Algo. The platform also is running nodes. And then you uh, set the contract up with them, and you pay them a monthly price plus your setup fees. And then you get to run your node, and you're good to go. So for me, I've been running a node since the first of this month, so... From February 1st until right now on the 18th, at the time of this video, I have completed eight total blocks. So the 7th, the 10th, the 13th, the 13th, the 14th, the 14th, the 16th, the 17th. So it was slow the first seven days, and then after that, it picked up. And basically, two my first two uh, nodes, or my first two um, validations of the block of blocks were the seventh and the 10th. And those two paid my monthly fee. And then the other six is all profit. So not a bad deal. And I'm using about 30,000 algos for this node. So I imagine if you have, let's say triple the amount, 90,000, you will probably get triple the amount of what I received here. So eight completed blocks and I got rewarded for them. All right, y'all. So that's the breakdown and the update of what's been happening. Algorand is clearly on his way to being the most decentralized blockchain, the most easy to use. And I even gave y'all a platform that you can run a node if you don't want to do it at your house. You don't have stable Internet or any other thing is going. Just make sure you have 30,000 algos and some fees to pay Valar and choose a node runner to run your node. And then you're good to go. Again, if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments. My name is C. Will with the Passive Income Network. I appreciate y'all for tapping in. Until the next time, y'all, peace. Passive income, passive income. Go 
Gold in my dental, thank God for my mental Investor fundamentals, told my girl it was simple 